All right, so this is one of our brown roughneck monitors. These are also known as doom rolls monitors. Uh, they come from Asia. They're going to be over by Vietnam, Thailand, that area up there. Uh, I'm holding him like this because his claws are very long and very sharp, and I don't like getting scratched up. Um, naturally, this is upsetting him. Um, understandably, most lizards are not going to enjoy being pinned like this, but if you're holding yours at home and you're not sure on the temperament, you're not sure on anything about him, this is one of the safest ways to hold a lizard, where you're holding at the two pivot points, which are going to be the shoulder and the hips. And again, though, this is a really good way to make them mad. So if you're trying to tame one down at home, I don't recommend you hold them like this. You're going to want to treadmill them and let them just walk over your hands. Um, when you're keeping a pet at home, you can just keep the nails trimmed, and that'll help out a lot more. Um, our drum rolls monitors here are eating hopper mice, as well as superworms, crickets, <laughs> and zoom in monitor and tag you food. Um, this guy is pretty upset, so I'm going to put him back here in just a second. Um, if you're interested in ordering one of these really awesome large uh, doom rolls monitors or brown roughneck monitors, you can go ahead and visit our website at www.llreptile.com. We have these and all of our available animals listed. We also have a really thorough and in-depth care sheet written just about roughneck monitors that I wrote myself. Uh, so if you head over to our husbandry article section, no, care sheets section in the library, you can go ahead and check that out and get tons of information on just how to take care of these. So there you have it. That is a large brown roughneck monitor. If you're interested in ordering one, make sure you visit the website and check them out.